got a great show for you tonight. Get your drink on, have some fun. Just drink it up. You're... It's like, what? Now, have you ever been so drunk you show up to work the next day still drunk? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Then you realize it's a day off? And you don't even work there anymore? It's just kind of like, oh, shit, this is a Kinko's now. Used to have a day job, but I do this now, this is fun. I quit my day job because they did not let me have Martin Luther King Day off. I... No, really? No. And know, my boss, he came in my cubicle, he's like, oh, well, Kevin, uh, uh, best wishes of Martin Luther King Day. I was like, fuck you! He's like, oh, uh, uh, I need to call human resources. Like, I don't care, what are you gonna do, huh? Fire your only black employee on Martin Luther King Day? That's what I thought. And if you excuse me, I'll be in the break room. Pissing in the coffee machine. Hmm, is this Colombian? No, taste of Africa. Fucking Charles. Now, this is great, man. I like living here. By the way, this accent is not fake. I'm not from Detroit. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. And you know where it is. It's okay. Don't. don't uh, you know where it is. Come on, stop lying. I'm where is it? Where is it? Rihanna lives there. No, she's from Barbados. You see my point? Americans have no idea about geography. None. Next to Venezuela, there we go. Okay, thank you, Latino fellow. You fucking... White lady over here. I know it's Rihanna. <laughs> She's sisters with Beyonce. <laughs> they don't know anything. I know where I, I know where Trinidad is. Go to Africa, make a left. <laughs> they have no idea. It's a tiny island in the Caribbean. It's so tiny, the 100 meter sprint has a left turn. <laughs> Every track meet is dangerous. Go, 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 left, 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 left. The only time Americans know anything about geography is like during the Olympics. That's it. Amen. So you guys get on Google and like, where's Latvia? <laughs> you have no idea. And we're so tiny, there's like three people in the Olympic uh, procession. Like one guy's there, he's like holding the flag. <laughs> the other guy's my Uncle Roy. <laughs> Terrible. And Americans, you love the Olympics. You love the Olympics because you win all the medals. You're like, oh yeah, we're great. We're the greatest country in the world. We win the medals. Well, it's because you have all the food. <laughs> Fucking bullies. <laughs> of course they're gonna win. I watched the USA basketball team play Angola. Angola. Why are you playing Angola? You know, and you guys have the biggest athletes in the world, like LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Tyson Chandler, you know. How do you figure the Angolan basketball team picked their team? They're like, okay. The first 15 men with shoes? Come to the UN hospital? We have a pickup truck for you. We will drive from Angola to London. There will be some swimming. <laughs> it's not fair. You know, and after the game, they try to play it off like, oh, good game, brother. Good game, brother. 155 to 3. Good game, brother. Good game, brother. Are you still eating that? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Look. First world countries should only play first world countries, right? Third world countries, you play third world countries. When you win in the first world, you get the gold medal. When you win in the third world, you get a US passport. <laughs> because that is useful to an African. They don't give an African a gold medal. Gold comes from Africa. <laughs> White people stole gold from Africa. How you don't give Africa some shit you stole from them? As a prize, they're like, oh, there you go, Matumbo, gold medal. Well, thank you for returning it. 
Where is the rest? 